Hello and welcome to Star Trek. I'm Rohit Khilnani. Joining us is the team of Film Highway, Randeep, Alia, Imtiaz. Thank you so much for giving me time. My first question to you, Imtiaz, this was, uh, was this supposed to be your first film? Yeah, I'd written this story or thought about it a long time even before I was making movies. Um, those days I was making a TV, uh, TV serials. In fact, I had made this story into a short story on uh, one of the channels and uh, always resented the fact that I couldn't really uh, complete the story. So it kept nagging me for many years and I thought of making it in different ways, yes. So it was, yeah. I so you, you couldn't complete writing the whole story? Maybe. In the way that, uh, see that time slot that uh, was for that episode was only like half an hour or something like that. And uh, so I thought the story had more to say. Yeah. Right. So what happens when you when you made uh, Rockstar, Love Aajkal? So was this just on the back burner or were you working on this? Animation? No, I was working on it. I was trying to make it, uh, but I couldn't. Then Sochanatha happened and then Jab we met and so on and so forth. And I tried to think about it or to make it, sell it to producers, etc. Uh, all the time. Uh, but no one bought into it, then finally I produced it. Right. <laughs> okay. You know, I want to ask the both of you that, you know, whenever we interview actors, when the director is not sitting there and we ask them, the director, who they want to work with, his name is obviously taken by every actor. So what was it like when, you know, he offered the film to you? And obviously, I was, um, I was a bit confused because um, it's just my second film and, you know, you think of these things maybe in your fourth or fifth film and everything. Um, so I was obviously very excited um, and after I read the script I was even more nervous and little like uh, apprehensive whether I'll be able to do it because it was really challenging for me. Um, but um, you know he just said you know we'll try. So, and I don't even think he knew whether I'll be good at it but I don't think that was the idea. I think the idea was that maybe my and her character, uh, Veera's character was so similar uh, given the fact that they come from the same uh, protected environment, uh, led a very secure life, not done much, not seen much. So I only had that. Uh, and what happened after that was just uh, magic. Right. Then if you work with so many filmmakers, tell us how is his work different? I think the biggest difference in his work is that he does not stay on that side of the camera. He's more on this side and he comes into the actor's space. And I have a sneaky suspicion that he's suffering as much as the actors are or elated as much as the actors are in that scene. There's a very quiet presence when you're kind of trying to concentrate and there's Imtiaz there. You do, he doesn't make you feel, you, he never makes you feel alone that, you know, oftentimes when you're an actor in, the, in front of the camera and it starts to roll, you feel alone. Right. But that's the feeling. I mean, you always felt uh, uh, a comforting and firm hand on your back and you could really fall backwards so that kind of confidence and the ability to suffer with the actor and not make it the only the actor's job is probably the most special thing about him. India, everyone is talking about one thing and that's the unusual casting. So where in your wildest imagination how did you think of this? <laughs> See I don't cast in pairs, um, I don't look at uh, uh, you know, two people and then cast them. I only look at one person and uh, uh, like one character and the suitable actor for it or the best possible actor for it. So in this case that was true as well uh, and uh, then it's then incidental in a way that uh, I don't understand what this whole thing about pairing is or the chemistry is. I don't understand that. But uh, yeah, so I just went ahead and, and cast and in the movie um, Veera and Mahabir are even even more uh, different, much more different from each other than they are in than Ranbir and Randeep and um, Ali are in real life. Um, yeah, so it was meant to be like that. Right, the story right. demanded that. Right. What Ali has done before is completely different from what she has done this time. Yeah. So how did you imagine her doing this? Were you like always confident that she was your first choice always? She became my only choice when I met her and I had not seen a film till then and then I was very excited at the prospect of this girl uh, playing that role because I thought there's something very fresh and new that's going to come into the story. Sure. sure. Okay. Okay. Guys, you know, a film like, the, the, you know, the posters pretty much tells us what to expect from this. It's called Highway. You all are traveling everywhere. We've seen the promos and the songs. 
Tell me on location, is it fun to just go from one place to the other with the entire crew? You all become a big group, obviously. How much fun it is to just do a film like this that takes you so many places? Uh, we used to all move in a caravan, you know, this whole yeah. line of Innovas and yeah. trucks and this and that. We used to all move. So there's obviously that journey we were taking through. Uh, we were taking in the movie, we were taking ourselves as people as well. And um, I don't know, I was more involved in what I was doing. So the okay. scenery was like yeah. only taking pictures and all that. But uh, there was a certain feeling that I think the whole unit had. The excitement of, you know, going from one place to the other and doing a scene somewhere, which I think has permeated through the reels and probably going to be the most infectious thing about the movie when people watch it. Okay, and this is different from what you've done before. So, you, do you enjoy traveling everywhere? Yeah, of course I did. I mean, the only probably uh, travel like, like that, road travel I had was when I was in school and we would go for school trips. And that would be like, you know, and we'd all travel in bu the bus for 14 hours, 16 hours. So, that was to be very exciting to be with friends and all. Obviously, this was different because you were shooting and you were working and a lot more was put in than just, you know, picking up lays and eating it in the bus. So, um, uh, for me, the whole idea of m moving like this continuously, not knowing what's happening, that itself was very exciting. So, wherever we went, I was um, pleasantly surprised by what, you know, what we would do and what would come our way. Was it as much fun as your school picnics? <laughs> better. <laughs> much better, okay. And just tell me, you shot across six states? Uh, so is recce done for all this or a lot of it is decided on the spot when you all reach somewhere you feel like it's a beautiful place let's roll the camera the recce was done but not everywhere because when when i was doing the recce i couldn't reach the upper reaches of himachal at all i couldn't even reach rampur because the roads were blocked because of snow so a lot of it actually uh, uh, rolled out while we were shooting and even while we were shooting we didn't know whether we'd be able to reach certain locations whether whether the the road is open there or not and there are there are these um, very vicious uh, nalas and uh, landslide spots uh, which behave different each day so you've got to really go there and see whether that um, there's a pagal nala for instance in himachal whether what's it saying you know, is it going to let you pass or you're going to have to do your scene on this side of the Nala? So lucky you guys saw so many places. Tell me which one is your favorite place and all that you saw through shooting highway. I think the, the, the biggest beauty is the difference in the places. There are six states and pretty much in a very concentrated area of northern India. But their cultures, I mean with food, the, what they wear, the language, road etiquettes, everything keeps changing. So that was... That was fun a, as well. Yeah, overall. we got to see such a varied part of our own country. I don't understand why people go abroad for holidays. And also we took the road less traveled. So we got to see a lot of things uh, which have not been by the tourist industry, uh, tourism industry. And so we got really the feel of the place. But the most beautiful place was for me, Jammu and uh, for Kashmir, because I think it is really paradise on Earth. Nice. Alia, you have a favorite place? Actually, you know, the more I answer this favorite place question, the more I think about the other places. So I have a feeling that I like every place for different reasons. Like I like Rajasthan for sambar, for the salt pan. I like Punjab for the fact that I climbed a tree. I like Himachal Pradesh for the fact that it was so cold and so pleasant. And um, I was at my most comfortable and I liked um, Kashmir for the fact that um, I sat on a horse. So, you know, various reasons, little, little things, various places. So, I don't, honestly, to be, I don't think there's one place that I like the most. But um, definitely, there, when I went home, I wanted to go back to all these places. Coming to the plot of the film, so you are obviously kidnapped, right? That's what comes across in the rushes, and you're happy to be kidnapped. How is that? <laughs> I think apart from this whole um, kidnapping and whether I'm happy or I'm sad angle, um, it's more about where I'm going and how I'm going and what happens while I'm going. So um, I don't know if I'm happy. I, it's not like I was um, uh, happy throughout the journey. Uh, but yes, I am doing things that I my cat that I being Vera that I've never done in my life before and I never thought that I would actually like so much or not like so much 
so it's more about kind of finding yourself while you're out of your comfort comfort zone as such um, and then the rest just happens. Nandi, when we see the posters, the impression you give us is that this must have been, you know, you look so confident that it looks like it, this must have been easy. There must be, uh, you know, there must be some tough parts for you as well doing this role. Of course. I mean, uh, uh, I am, first of foremost was that this, uh, this character is pretty fractured in lots of ways, which I am not as a person, but I could relate to it. And then uh, learning a new dialect, the Gujari dialect, which was there. And um, to be able to have the confidence in the director and yourself to, you know, not perform for the camera and all that and really try and live that part to the best of your ability. So all those things are not easy and every day is a new day. And um, it's by far, I mean, it was not easy at all, but that's what made it more fun. And yes, you know, I've seen all your films as an audience. So, am I the only one who feels that there's a similarity? There's something that I can tap that, you know, this is an Imtiaz Ali film. Am I, am I the only one and are we the only one? Or you feel that as well. Like, you know, there are people falling in love in different time zones. There's a, there's a famous balcony shot. So, do you also feel that? that yeah. There's yeah. a trademark. As a, as a viewer, I think that I'm, uh, I can see myself beyond a point, you know. When a film releases and you see it after a while, then you see that, oh, He's done it again. <laughs> and it's quite by accident. It's never, okay. it's never by... You know, what happens is that I actually forget the film when it's over, after a point. Like, you know, Rockstar was there for a very long time in my mind. But then I don't really remember it that well. So when I'm making this, I'm not either trying to get away from the other movies that I've made or, uh, uh, or trying to be like them, you know. Um, and, and I don't even... I don't even, beyond a point, I'm not worried about what, whether people are going to think that I'm repeating myself or not. My whole intention is to make the best film I can at that point of time. It's only for that film, it's not for, for the resume, it's not for anything else. So I guess, yeah, I, I, I do see the balcony shot and in this film there is no balcony, so there is no balcony shot. Yeah, there are certain things that repeat themselves. They got mountains. No the mountains, okay. Imtiaz, again to you. Um, after Rockstar, was it obvious that you will work with A.R. Rahman? No, it was not obvious in this film at all because when I started thinking about this movie recently, uh, I didn't know how much music there was going to be and I didn't want to offer it to Rahman sir uh, and put him into a difficult spot where he would not know how to refuse. Uh, but he kept asking me the, uh, the, the story of the movie and etc. etc. and then, then he said that, so do you want me to do it or not? So then I thought that, um, you know, what I told him is that I'd like to offer you. The script was very open. I had not really written the script. And I ended up never really finishing writing the script till the shooting was over. But uh, at that time, since it was so open, music started coming into the screenplay. Uh, because I knew uh, that there was a, a deeper connection that would happen. And uh, uh, between the music director and the film. So I, I try to take that in as much as possible. And ultimately there are nine songs in the film. Alia, we saw you singing a song in this. How did they first tell me convince you to do that? Was it easy? They didn't have to convince me. You were ready to sing. Yeah, he said that we'll try it out. So I said, yeah, okay. Because there's only one lip sync portion in the film where my character sings. Uh, so, you know, if we could like make it a little more realer. So I would sing, it would, it would be nice. And um, Rehwan sir was open to the idea. Nimtia suggested it to him and um, yeah I went and I tried it out I thought that maybe it may not happen eventually I may not be able to you know pull it off but um, after a lot of trying it happened so that's the kind of response you've got I've got better response to the singing than I've got to the promo <laughs> <laughs> I feel <laughs> yeah Sandeep your favorite song in the movie um obviously what Alia sings in the movie is very special to me and my character and I think it's going to cut across and touch other people but I like the song Kaha Hume the most because that's really a journey song often when, often times when you're sitting uh, you know besides the window while traveling uh, or you get all these thoughts of where you are and what's going to happen what has happened and 
So I think that song really touches the chord with me. Before we go, we have a very small quiz round. There's no hamper, but we'll just do it for the fun of it. Okay, guys, to the two of you, how many films has Imtiaz written which he's not directed? She's not directed. At yeah. least five. No, no, which have been released, you're saying? Yeah, which have been released. Cocktail? Uh, Cocktail, uh, Aista, Aista. Yeah, that's uh, it, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, I thought there were more. Okay. Imtiaz, how many films has Randeep done with the Bhats? Five. Three. Three. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. You know, was the was student of the year the first time Alia faced the camera or has she faced the camera before? She has faced it before. <laughs> <laughs> in which film? Uh, she played a younger something in a movie. Right. Has... Pretty Zinta. Young Pretty Zinta. Yeah. Which movie was that? Sangarsh. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Has Alia done a cola commercial? Have we seen her doing a cola commercial? Yes. It's got, it's called that thing we can't say on the show. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> okay, has Imtiaz ever faced a camera? Yes. Yes. Which film? Black, Black Friday. Friday. If I had a hamper, all of y'all would be winners today, but we just did this for the fun of it. Guys, it's looking lovely, so best of luck to all of you. Thank Keep you Keep so entertaining much. us, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Bro.